Hey, good morning and welcome back to the book of Philippians. We're working our way through verse by verse through the book of Philippians. This morning, we're going to take in chapter 2, verses 19 through 24. Let's read it, then we'll think about it together. But I trust in the Lord Jesus to send Timothy to you shortly, that I also may be encouraged when I know your state. For I have no one like-minded who will sincerely care for your state. For all seek their own, not the things which are of Christ Jesus. But you know his proven character, that as a son with his father he served with me in the gospel. Therefore I hope to send him at once, as soon as I see how it goes with me. But I trust in the Lord, that I myself shall also come shortly. So Paul is imprisoned. He's imprisoned because he's been out preaching. That used to happen, and it's going to be happening again. It's already happening in other parts of the world today. Might not be happening where some of us are, but it's coming up sooner than I think any of us think. Paul says, I think I'm going to get out, I'm going to be released, and I'm going to be able to do the work more directly with you. But he says, in the meantime, I'm sending my trusted friend Timothy. Timothy was somebody that Paul taught how to do things. He kind of mentored him up, and Timothy would travel back and forth. Remember, no email, no, no phone networks, uh, no copper wire phone, no cell phone. Uh, if you wanted to get something from one place to another, you had to send it by foot. And so Timothy would often go and others would go and bring letters back and forth. So he's going to send Timothy to get a direct first-hand report about what's going on there, how things are going, and Timothy will bring it back. Well, he says something kind of interesting here. He says, I don't have too many people who are really of the, of a, of the same mind. I don't have people, I don't have very many workers like Timothy. Timothy, who is totally given over to the kingdom because he says most people seek their own. They do not think they do not seek the things which are of Christ Jesus. Timothy was one who served in the things that were of Christ Jesus. In your church where you are, in your congregation, you want to be one of those persons who does the things of Christ Jesus. You want to be one of those persons who is not seeking your own thing. You're seeking the things of the kingdom. We want to seek first Jesus and his righteousness. Everything else will be added to us after that, right? Go back to Matthew chapter 6 and read that there. Timothy was one who got that. He understood it and he was doing it. And so Paul saw Timothy as a very, the kind of person he wanted more people to be doing that because that's what we all should be doing. We should be like Timothy, teachable, active, doing the work of the kingdom, and boom, going from place to place on foot, going back and forth, doing the things of the kingdom. In verse 22, he says, Timothy has a proven character. In other words, we've seen his work. We've seen the fruit of it. So again, we need to be actively talking to people about Jesus, doing good to them, uh, talking to them about the Bible's present truth messages. And there are some very intense messages that are very current for this our day. So Timothy is a help here today to us as kind of a model of somebody who's following Jesus. Of course, our ultimate model is Jesus. But we see here something about how we should work. We should be somebody who is not seeking our own, but is seeking the things of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, help us to be busy in the gospel. We are here, arguably, Lord, not to do whatever our calling or career is ultimately, but that is sort of an avenue or a, a way that we can work in a certain slot, a certain space where we can reach people, Lord, that you want us to reach with the good news of the gospel. So, Lord, help us to keep the main thing the main thing and to tell people about Jesus and your present truth. May we be transformed as we do it. Thank you for hearing our prayers, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So there's our desire. There's our hope. Today's your opportunity. Today, God can make a divine appointment for you. Just ask him for one. See what happens. God be with you today.